folks, so we're back to uh, testing on the group 31 again here with the carbon pile load tester. Again, this is the uh, tester of choice by most battery professionals. Um, we often regard it as, you know, the tester is going to provide the most accurate results. So uh, quickly again, we're going to use our uh, stud terminal adapters on here. We're not going to test on the stud. Again, we're going to get a little bit better results if we do with a carbon pile. However, not 100% not accurate. So we're going to use our stud terminal adapters, make our connection, and then uh, we're going to have a quick look at the load tester here. So how do we load test a, uh, a battery? Uh, the, the Battery Council International states that you load test the one half the rated cold cranking app um, for 15 seconds and it should hold a terminal voltage of 9.6 volts. So this particular tester has a uh, 15 second timer on it, most don't. Uh, so we're going to um, activate that timer as soon as we start our load test. Uh, this particular one has a uh, cooling fan as well. So if you're load testing a lot of batteries, especially group 31s, 80s, uh, you're going to get some cooling down of the carbon piles. You don't want to overheat those carbon piles. They're fairly hard and brittle. Uh, so we want to be careful that we, uh, that we don't beat it around too much. So here we go. We're going to load test this battery at rate, half its rated cold crank amp. We can see... Uh, uh, here, the, the two different scales here, we have the, uh, the amount of amperage that we're putting on the uh, top scale and the blue scale is the rated uh, CCA. So here we're going to go, we're going to load it up to 1,000 cold cranking amp, put half the rated load on it. Uh, we're going to hold that load for 15 seconds and it should hold a terminal voltage for approximately 9 point, uh, sorry, we're gonna, it's going to hold that terminal voltage for 15 seconds at 9.6 volts. So as we can see, this thing is hanging in there great. Now, if we remember on the resistance tester, it was only showing us, uh, you know, about 840 some CCA, 850 CCA. So a lot of different results on the carbon pile tester. And there we go, the test is done. So um, carbon pile versus uh, resistance tester.